This is Pedro. He is a Mexican. And he sells squirrel burritos. And that is his wife. Her name is Tiffany. He thinks, he thinks she is the most beautiful squirrel that he has ever seen. And now this is the story of them and the squirrel burritos. Tiffany, did I ever tell you the story of the summer of 1987? No, you didn't. I didn't? Seriously? No. Uh, Alright, I'll tell you the story then. You wanna hear it? I've been pushing out babies for the last 15 years. What the fuck do you think I've been doing? Fine then, woman. Shut the fuck up and let me tell my story. Alright. I was in a breakdancing crew. And I, used, I was really good. I could do fucking 900, like, spin a spin on my head. No, you couldn't, Pedro. Yeah, I could. Stop lying. T go take care of the kids. I was always drunk off tequila. And I always showed up to practice drunk. When I met you, you were an alcoholic. You've always been drinking tequila, Pedro. Hey, my daddy gave me tequila when I was little. Alright, my dad taught me right. Alright, I'm gonna go teach the kids to go drink tequila now. God damn it, Pedro. You know what? I don't have to take this from you, Tiffany. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm gonna beat you. No, don't. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, Pedro. Ah. Ah, Pedro, Pedro. Ah. 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 Stupid bitch. No, Pedro, stupid stop bitch. it. Stop it, Pedro. Stupid stop. bitch. The anal babies are gonna get angry, stupid Pedro. Bitch. Stop, stop. I'm leaving. Stupid bitch. No, Ow. don't leave me, Tiffany. I'm leaving you. I can't take your kind anymore. Don't leave me, Tiffany. I love you. Toxic. The Empire Strikes Back. Their new album. It'll be out in record stores near you in a galaxy far, far away. On this day, Pedro's tequila, it goes missing. He blames Tiffany. Tiffany gets upset. This is her last straw. She finds, later, a mate that might be with her for the rest of her life. Hey, you look more beautiful than a blossom of spring. What is your name, little miss? Hi. My name is Alexandria, but you could call me Alex. Well, I'm Tiffany, and I just, I've been through some time fr from, from, uh, my husband, he beat me, he was drunk, we have actually 32 kids, and, uh, I'm just driving, that's all I can do right now, is drive it. Oh, wow, I, I feel sorry for you. Looks like you got a nice little wet pussy. Oh, well, yeah, I do. You want to touch it? Look at these big titties. Look at the titties. Look at the titties. Look at the... Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, God, this is getting me so wet. Can I jump in your car and go for a ride? Get in, little girl. <laughs> You want a scissor? Have you ever heard of that? Are you, are you a, you know, do you do that? I really don't know what scissoring is. What's that? It's when we put our legs, like, in a, like, putting two scissors together, but our vaginas are touching. So we rub our vaginas together. That sounds fun. Let's go do it. That's what I like to hear, little girl. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All through the day and all through the night, until the sun went down, until the moon went up. They went on and on, raging, eating vaginas, eating them whole, scissoring until there could be no more scissors left. They had the hottest, kinkiest lesbian sex actions that ever 
happened in anybody's life. And they had strap-ons, double-way dildos, uh, body lubricant for inserting the whole body into the vagina. And it was the most beautiful thing ever. And it made Pedro go into a drunken rage. And he misses Tiffany still. Pedro, I just, I met somebody that was really important to me, and she, she's opened my eyes up, along with Dr. Phil, they've helped me get through this and helped me stop this abusive relationship, I don't have to put up with your alcoholism. Shoot my lover? You jealous? You jealous? You can't have these titties anymore, Pedro. What the fuck is your problem? You shoot her? Tiffany? Oh no! No! Stop! Stop. Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh fuck! 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 You'll never leave me again, Tiffany. I'm gonna fucking drink all this tequila and then I'm gonna piss in your face, Tiffany. No, you can't. I do what I want. I'm my, I'm my own person now. I'm my own person. I believe that I can be free of you. I hate you now. I don't want to be with you. Check this out, Tiffany. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Pedro, drunk with rage, he went, he went on a squirrel killing rage. Tiffany survived, and she went to the toxic waste barrels that she once knew, and she started eating and eating. Years she spent there in deep meditation to become the greatest killing machine there ever was. And then, after ten years of battle... Of the Great Squirrel War. Pedro was the the last standing member of the Mexican resistance. And they met in battle. It was the last of the forces. And Pedro, Tiffany standing above him, he pressed the button and destroyed the whole world. And the only thing that survived were the kangaroos because they could jump really high and the Eskimos because they fell in love together during the war. And kangaroos can fly. Like unicorns. Made up nigger productions, motherfucker.